Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV Pixel. This place is scary. I'm getting out of here. I want to go back to Earth. But actually, no. There are some things that I would like to show you back here. Now that we've taken out the Giant of Babel, we have no more problems to solve. Well, we want to go after Zemus, but other than that... Oh, thought I was a little off there. There you go. But, uh, yeah, so after destroying the giant of Babel, there's going to be some more dialogue that we can get back at Mysidia. Unfortunately, the regular NPCs here, yeah, they don't have anything new to say. But if you go back to the tower of, okay, worship, I was going to say prayers, but whatever works. Yeah, we got Sid's lackeys here. Oh. Well, good, good. It's about all he's good for, anyway. Well, it did. Oh. Well, yeah, that... Yeah, I have that effect on people. Now, if you're playing the GBA or PSP versions of the game, you can actually use your old party members coming up here, and there's a whole other dungeon to go through. Unfortunately, that content is not in the pixel version here so what you see is what you get but if you want to know how all of that stuff goes uh you might want to check out my lp of the psp version final fantasy 4 complete uh, oh yeah of course well tell us not exactly here anymore yeah, we don't have the extra dungeon and equipment for you. Although Sid can equip one-handed axes and shields if you really wanted to do that. Oh, well, yeah, I've got to save the world. Let's see, there's also a couple other things that we can do around here. Unfortunately, most of the places on the overworld here don't have any new dialogue or anything extraordinary. You might think they should, but they don't. So let's head on back to the underworld. I actually checked out Troya earlier today and the doctor and nurse are gone, but Edward still left his heart back in his room. <laughs> Guess they forgot to remove that. But in any case, yeah, let's get back to Coco Smithy, because after defeating the giant of Babel, they harvested or scavenged the leftovers of the giant, and they got a whole bunch of new stuff. So I would like to get as many Fuma Shurikens as I can here. They'll be very useful against the bosses in the final dungeon. Good for you. Okay, so let's see, that's all I can do there. Hold on, let me see what my... Okay, I've got two diamond gloves. I wanted to make sure I got them, because I'm going to... Well, I'm going to need them coming up here. Eventually. Oh yeah, and when Kane rejoined the party, he's got full Genji equipment going on. So, that's pretty nice. Now, in this version of the game, for rearranging my party, I want to have... The guys in the front row and the ladies in the back row there. And in this version, I need to have Edge in the front row. Because, yeah, I can't just make his entire attack long range with the Moonring Blade there. So, I need him in the front row to be able to actually deal some decent damage with his physical attacks there. Why don't we uh, take a look at our setup here. Okay, so with Kane, I I want to give him the Avenger. If you're playing the Super Nintendo version where I threw that at uh, Bahamut, I think it was, I would, you know, you could give him the Defender. That would also be pretty good. But I like having the Berserk effect there on Kane. And let's see, I would like him to have the Ice Armor to protect against fire damage and diamond gloves to protect against thunder damage. And then, yeah, let's get back to our bows and arrows for Rydia. I don't think anything else needs to be changed. 
why don't we go with the Genji shield here, I think? Or wait, no. No, I want to go with the ice shield here. I'd also like to have something to protect against undead enemies, so Light Helm will get the job done there. And then, yeah, let's get some thunder resistance on you. I think everyone will be able to get thunder resistance one way or another, and that'll be pretty important coming up here. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but someday. And yeah, I want to have the gold hairpin because there's going to be a lot of dragons. Ignore that resistant to undead part, that doesn't work. But it does work on the light robe there. But yeah, I mostly just want the dragon resistance there for Rosa. And then, let's see, for Edge, let's start him out on the Mage Master with the uh, Kikuichi Manji. And then, okay, so, I'm just thinking, yeah, we want the Diamond Armlet to give him some lightning resistance there. Let's see, how's your agility looking there? Okay, so a little more agility, and I'll be able to get another multiplier, or a few more multipliers, really. But, for now, this is the best that we can do. Yeah, that ought to be good enough for now. Eventually, I may swap around the black cow to anyone who's close to another agility multiplier. And since Yang has recovered back at the Sylvan Cottage here, I want to go back here because they actually do have some new stuff to say. So, I'll just meet you down there, then. All right, we're back at the Sylvan Cottage without Yang around here anymore. Thanks for the help. So what are you guys doing now? Why would that matter? No, no. no I, I don't want to know. Don't answer that, viewers. Well, sure. Why not? But, uh, yeah, just a little bit of amusing dialogue that I... Thought I'd show you guys there, but... Okay, now, let's go back to the moon. Shouldn't the tower not be shielded anymore? I mean, we destroyed the... The giant of Bebel. They used the... Crystal's power, or whatever they're doing there. Well, in any case... Let's get back, and... Let's see, how are we doing? Yeah, I'm gonna want to rest up here... But you're still hungry. It might not be a bad idea to make a save where I park the lunar whale just in case there's something, I don't know, maybe you forgot something or you want to get out of there real quick to buy stuff before heading back. But in any case, where we need to go is the Crystal Palace. And, yeah, we're going to have to go through those tunnels again, but we should be able to get through them pretty quickly with Rydia's Quake Spell. You kill almost everything on the surface. It's a pretty quick, straightforward now that we got... What was that? Oh, yeah, now that we've gotten all the treasure already. Uh-oh. Maybe I can get Thunder in before Kane attacks again? Not that it really matters. Yeah, someone was saying, H.C. Bailey, that chain reaction inflicts instant death and it doesn't work on those other enemies earlier. What was it? Prokaryote or Eukaryote? Whatever it was. In the Super Nintendo version, that didn't happen. But in this version, I guess it does. It's not completely uh, accurate. That is... Or at least they got it so that it doesn't bypass instant death immunity. I know Final Fantasy V Pixel had some instances like that, where some enemies supposed to be immune to instant death, but they're not with certain abilities. That, uh, what was that? Whoop. Some abilities just bypass instant death no matter what you do. Well, with Kane going to town there, maybe, we, yeah, just kill them the old-fashioned way. Ooh, Stardust. Not that I'll ever use that, but it's available. 
All right, we made it back. Let's see, with Rosa, yeah, why don't we get a little healed up here so I only have to visit one of the refills there. I'm not even going to bother to save yet because, well, I'm going to be making a quick trip in and out. Anything there? No. I was thinking maybe there's like one of those treasures that I found before, but no, no. Oh, really? Yeah, let's give him all the weapons of unlimited power. Well, we'll see if we can take some of them. Oh, well, it still seems to be there. But in any case, yeah, now we can go down to the core. Or at least the subterrane. Hmm. How did they get here anyway? I don't know. But in any case, we can talk to the crystals, get a little background or dialogue here. Like the Triforce? Or Essence of the Triforce? I was playing Link to the Past recently. Ah, okay, well, I guess we could go after them. Why not? Well, only one place to go left in the game. Game. Ah, they got a bit of a different animation here than the Super Nintendo version. I approve. Now, for... Ah, hey, all right. For getting all the maps, I guess, or all locations, I suppose. That includes Chocobo Forests, too. And it includes running into enemies really... Really quickly here. Maybe Miss Dragon could help on them? Or maybe I could just go with my regular physical attacks. That works. Save a little on the MP there. Now, from the start here, there's actually a few places we could go. There's a teleporter on the west side there. And there's one down below, too. But I want to go this way first. Since it's a pretty quick dead end to run into. See, I would like to be able to get to Rydia's turn and have her use Tornate Tornado on the Giant Warrior because they have a lot of HP. More than the ones that we met up with in the Giant of Babel. So yeah, just get Tornado on them. Poke them, or whack them upside the head, and you're good to go. Hooray! I could use a little more healing, but I'll wait a little bit on that. Till I get to where I want to go. Let's see, I don't think it's even worth... Uh, what was it? Using Tornado, if it's just the one. Because we've got Angel Arrows. And we could kill the guy before they even have a chance to do much else. Yeah, one round, boom, they're down. Hooray! Okay, yeah, now let's actually heal up a bit there. So that we're ready to fight some more monsters in a chest. And this one has a lot of good stuff. Okay, let's go tornado on the one in the back. Everyone else, target the one up front. And I'm using aim here just to... Make sure that I deal as much damage as possible. But otherwise, yeah, don't use summons on these guys. No. That would be a bad idea. Well, at least Kane can target the one up front. Yeah, the Avenger still is pretty useful here. But alright, for defeating them, we get the Black Guard. Which is, well, let's take a look at his evasion there. And then give that to him, which also boosts his agility. So that's pretty nice. But yeah, look or what? Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Look at that evasion there. Holy cow! So yeah, the more multipliers we can get on him, the better. You get another evasion multiplier every uh, eight agility you got without shields. That is, shields change the algorithm a bit there. 
Here, I thought there was something else. Oh yeah, I don't really need the black cowl anymore. So let's go with a little extra strength there. Can anyone else use it? Not you, not you. Nope, no one else can use it. So I'll just leave it alone. But periodically I will check everyone's... Uh, everyone's agil agility so that I know who could use it. But uh, yeah, just uh, quick key all this time. And I think I'm going to want to save this time around because... The path I'm going to be taking is a bit of a long one. Okay, so, yeah. Let's go right there. Dive right back in. Fortunately, in this version of the game, they don't go through the... the sequence for getting down to the moon all over again, unlike the Super Nintendo version of the game. But yeah, you can go through a secret passage. The other path, down south, that leads to the end of the dungeon. And I don't want to go there yet. I want to stay right over here. Let's see, let's get Edge to take out the Dark Sage there. And if that's all, can take out that one. Very nice. Ooh, just in time. Learned Flare Viridia in the Super Nintendo version. You should also be pretty close to learning Flare for her. She learns it at level 50 in the Super Nintendo version. So if you don't have it by the time we get to the first boss, make sure you grind and finish off the level so that you can go do that. Or you'll have Flare ready to go against some monsters! But yeah, the really nice thing about Flare is that it has no charge time. It's practically a straight upgrade to the bio spell. Now let's see if that Selene Guardian will, or Dark Sage will, do something. Aw, man. Yeah, Kane's gonna kill her. Well, she can cast Break on herself or other enemies there when she's confused, but nope, nope. And here we got the Sage's Staff, the best staff in the game for Rosa. Spirit Boost of 15. It's obscene. Against bosses, that is. Not so much against random enemies, so I'm just going to leave that alone for now. Eventually, I will want to change my setup a little more. But for now, I'll leave it as is. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, why don't we go with Tornado since I got a quick... Start there for Rydia. One more hit. Ow! Quit it. Easy enough. Yeah, I love that Tornado's useful in this game, at least. Pretty useful in Final Fantasy III, also. Ooh! Well, we reached the end of this path and found a weapon. Which one is it? Find out next time, and let's play Final Fantasy IV Pixel. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!